Also in Charlotte County, leaders getting that first look at the impact of Hurricane Ian on our waterways. Yeah, Fox 4 anchor Shari Armstrong is in studio tonight taking a look at the water quality report from the Board of County Commissioners that they went through this afternoon, Shari. That's right. Today, the Charlotte County Board of Commissioners took a look at water quality reports, and we have a detailed breakdown of that. They're from the Department of Environmental Protection, and they show that even in the months before Hurricane Ian hit, high levels of nitrogen and chlorophyll, nutrients that can cause the growth of harmful algae blooms, were found in some of the county's waterways. Take a look. Tonight, we're taking a close look at what is in our water. Today, the Charlotte County Board of Commissioners took a look at water quality reports. These are from the Department of Environmental Protection, and they show even in the months before Hurricane Ian hit, high levels of nitrogen and chlorophyll, nutrients that can cause the growth of harmful algae blooms, were found in some of the county's waterways from June to September of this year. Take a look at this map. This shows the concentrations of three nutrients, chlorophyll, nitrogen, and phosphorus, and how much of those nutrients appear near each sampling site in Charlotte County. You can see down near Charlotte Harbor, the water samples all showed up with low levels of nutrients. But north near the Sarasota County line, waterways have high levels of chlorophyll and nitrogen. The Department of Environmental Protection tested for the presence of bacteria in the water too. You can see here the Mayaca and Peace Rivers both showed high levels of bacteria in certain areas of the waterways, but overall, most most of Charlotte County had low levels of bacteria in the water. Multiple agencies then band together to help Charlotte County pull samples of bacteria post Hurricane Ian. You can see from this map that the levels in the Peace River were high, but the Mayaka River's level went down. Over on the coast, though, bacteria levels in Rotunda West and Charlotte Harbor spiked in the weeks following the storm. The county says it plans to keep watching the levels of nutrients in bacteria over the next few months as part of their One Charlotte, One Water program. They're also working with several environmental agencies to update their water monitoring system. This is part of a 12 to 18 month review of all of this data. That water quality monitoring plan is expected to be written and submitted to county leaders for review in the spring and after a public comment period. The plan is expected to be finalized in the fall. And you can trust Fox 4 to keep you updated on that plan and, of course, any more reports when it comes to our waterways. Live in the newsroom, Shari Armstrong, Fox 4.